Jill managed to single-handedly defeat the creature, but not without incident. In the aftermath, she became infected with a T-virus and soon lost consciousness. Carlos fought his way to Jill and brought her to the nearby Spencer Memorial Hospital. Ah, shit. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic evening. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Now, I've got an important message for everybody at the end of this, so, yeah, go ahead and uh, enjoy to your fullest heart's content, and then um, hopefully you'll be there for the end of this where I do that special little treat. I have a key, but it's not the key I need. Oh, I can put this away now. Okay, cool. Let's get to going. Ah, oh, where have I not been? I need to go to the staff room. Why do I need to go to the staff room? Why is that a thing that I need to go do? Oh, it's this, but I can't do that right now, can I? No, no, I cannot. Okay. At least I know what that is. That's good. I need that. Okay, we gotta go back, I believe. And this guy's gonna be up, I bet. Or not. Or not. Wait, what do I have now? I have a key card which I can use to get into. I got a key card for something, but I don't remember what. What am I supposed to search for an audio cassette? Nurses station on the other side. I mean, it's where I was headed, yeah. Um, no, think I need to go this way. Ooh. Yo! All I have to defend myself is this really shitty fucking knife. I don't know if I'm supposed to be down here. I'm actually pretty freaking positive I'm not supposed to be down here. So I'm gonna go around and do this trip one more time. Find out where it is I need to be. Okay, it's not there. It's the nurse's station. Okay. Alright, it's for sure the nurse's station. See, I didn't think it was because there was a zombie there. And I didn't really want to be near the zombie. If I'm being a hundred with you. Not super big on that jazz. I wonder where the passcode is. Oh, he moves pretty quickly, doesn't he? Ooh, oh, 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 use it. You can't have me doing that when I have no ammunition. Of any kind whatsoever. Why? God, fuck. That's not fair. Okay, there's gotta be something ammunition wise. I don't need herbs, I need bullets. Ah! You little shit. I will blow you up. Oh, that didn't work. I was expecting more of an earth shattering kaboom, but it did not hit him. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that, 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 I don't want that.
I don't have nearly enough ammunition to deal with this. Please tell me I'm on the right side that doesn't have anything yet. You have got to be fucking kidding me. I did it again. There is so much assery happening right now. I don't have enough to deal with those guys. Like at all, even remotely. I have I have nothing. Oh god. My body's burping. Oh god, I thought he ma magically vanished and I was like, no. Holy shit, dude! Fuck you! Where the hell did you come? I killed all you fucks! All of you were dead. All of you were dead. What does it say? Spencer Memorial Hall, John Ralph, orthopedic doctor. 010197. OD7985. Why do I feel like that's important? That's kind of cool. That's a nice little attention to detail. I like that. Anyway. I'm sure there's some reason for that. Ah. See, I'm upset because I fucking killed you. Hi. Time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. Is it going to come down here? Because I very much can't deal with that. Okay. Here's my problem. I was only given about 40 bullets. That might have been enough to actually kill one of them, but definitely not both of them. So how in the fucking world am I all equipped to deal with any of this. I'm going to die again. And I'm upset about it because I know I'm going to die before I've even had a chance to die. Cool, let's just go. I'm assuming that this is where I'm actually supposed to be. Uh, nine clockwise, three counterclockwise. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use these for the the betas. Betas? I don't fucking know. They're hunters. Whatever. Okay, that did like fucking nothing, and I'm still upset about it. But I have a green herb. I've got some stuff. I can kind of fully deal with everything kind of. I'm sure that opens for Jill. I'm pretty sure that you deal with this as her as well. Okay, hold on. Um, shortcut it as that. Move it to this. I should throw the grenades first and deal with them effectively. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Shit. Here, I'll try this. That was a huge waste. Alright, I'm gonna go save, and then I'll have my way over. Fucking insanity. Absolute fucking insanity. Got it. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I'll probably fucking die anyway, but... Eh.
Holy shit, dude. Did not have fun with that. Sure wish I could get more fucking ammunition, because yet again, I have none. Oh, fucking it's right here. That probably means that this was mostly my fault. Neat. And it's not right here. It's right over there. How do I get over there? Have I been over there? Hold on. I have. Okay, and that's where I need to get to get to something over there? Is that it? No, yeah, because I keep coming over here. And I need to get over there. Okay, give me a second. I will be right back. I'm going to go do that really quick, because I want to make sure I get everything. Okay. Okay, it's on the other side. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't want to deal with you! That's not okay! How am I meant to deal with that? What am I supposed to do? What the fuck? That's some assery! Holy shit, how did I get over here to begin with? Um, so where am I? I'm right here. So it's right over here. Right? No, it's right here. Where's my player right now? I'm in the records room. So if I go this way and I go that way, there's a window of which I can get to from over here somewhere. Okay. That's the thought process anyway. I gotta fucking save because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fucking die. This is so fucking dumb. Oh my god, they're like not giving me anything. Like, surviving's fine if I have shit with which to survive. But it doesn't much count if I don't have anything with which to use. To even survive. Okay, it's over there. So in order to get that, I have to go to the linen room. Which I get to from... No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can get to that one from the nurse's station. Where is it? There's one right across from me. Oh, he's over there. Hold on. Okay, I was in the courtyard. And I was looking at this. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Ah, shit! Ah, fuck! Ah, shit! Get off of me! Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Okay, I can actually go deal with that now. I'm gonna deal with this later. I'm gonna go deal with that. I think he's fucking dead. 
But I want that last little bit. I want to be able to do that. So give me a second while I go get there. What the fuck? You're right there! Oh my god! God, that's so fucking stupid! Oh my god, that is so actually fucking stupid. That was... You have to understand, it's not fair for me if the game offers me fucking nothing to deal with shit. If I make the smallest or slightest fucking error, it doesn't mean I fucked up. So much so that the game just has to like turn up a fucking degree in difficulty. God, it's so ass. I'll save before I go deal with him. Okay, I'm gonna go try to deal with it. Well, actually, I mean, maybe I, maybe I, maybe I'll win. I don't know. Oh my God! Fuck off! Oh my God! Holy shit, dude. This is really bad. Like, I, I want to, like, say it's not, but it's pretty fucking bad, dude. Come on down. Kill monsters! It's so fucking stupid! Oh my god! One hit kill monsters are so bad in any game ever! Why do we keep putting them in shit? God, it's so fucking annoying! I fucking unloaded an entire clip into this bad boy and he's still fucking up and about! Oh my god, I don't even know if I shot him correctly. I'm gonna try again. Oh my god! Fuck! Oh my god, I hate this. God fuck! I hate it! It's so fucking stupid! Because now I can't do anything! I, I can't do anything! I can't I can only move forward. I have no free choice anymore. I have I have nothing. I have 30 bull This entire section of the game has been nothing but me trying to find bullets for a gun that is the main source of my ability to fight and combat an enemy in the game. And it's not annoying or terrifying anymore. It's it's just fucking assery. I mean no, it is annoying. It's not terrifying anymore. Oh my god. It's so fucking when you're being attacked by the zombie and your first words out of your mouth are, oh my god, you've, 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 done, you've done something wrong. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6 p.m., the Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you could, if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note, Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. You've booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? Well, I'll let the irons know. So now there's no way for me to heal. There we go. Thank you. At least you gave me that much. I 
I want I want that. So I'm gonna go get it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do this first. Jake, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail. And it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have got to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here with UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, which would sound, which should sound pretty chaste for the, after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back. What the fucking god son of a bitch? <laughs> yes! I just stun locked the fuck out of that bastard. Oh, that was beautifully beautiful. Oh, I loved every bit of that. That was some bullshit. Oh, wow. I'm glad I was able to do that. I don't think I should be able to do that. Was that him? No, it wasn't. It's another one. Okay, maybe I can stun lock this bad boy too. I'll save before I try. But I'm pr that's probably my only fucking hope. Is shooting him with this pistol. And, and also smacking him a bit. That was insane! I can't believe I just fucking Dark Souls that shit. That was... Why am I able to Dark Souls literally every game I ever fucking play? Alright, come on down. No, all right. You can't. You can't do that. You can't. You can't do that. You can't be like, oh, hey, um, our game sucks. Here, have this thing. This this better game difficulty that'll make it easier for you to play the game. But you can't change it back because you don't have a choice to do that. You have a choice to change it once, but you can't change it back after that. And uh, it's your fault. Even though it's ours, it's your fault. That's fucking stupid. That's fucking dumb. That's fucking stupid. That's fucking dumb. That's 
that's really stupid. Because then every time I die, I have to watch the stupid loading screen, and I, I have to wait for it to reload. Um, and then and then I have to and then I have to sit here. And, wait. and the best part is, is like they have me fighting this while I'm Carlos. Carlos doesn't have a dodge technique. He has a technique where he punches people, which means that this enemy is deliberately designed in a way which makes it very very difficult to deal with as Carlos, and that makes it stupid. Because I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep doing this. You think I'm not gonna keep doing this? I'm a stubborn fucking piece of shit. I'm not done. I'm not done with this until I beat this part. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna beat this part. We're gonna keep going until I kill it, and I can move forward with what I want to do, because the game that has been letting me do what I want to do up until this point is gonna let me do what I'm gonna do. You need to stop making games so fucking difficult at certain points that it makes it fucking impossible to deal with. See? See that right there? No! No! You can't make a shitty game and then be like, oh, here's a better difficulty which is more balanced. No! You don't get to do that! God, you guys suck at making fucking video games these days. And I'm not just talking about Capcom. Whatever happened to releasing a finished product? Where it's been tested and it's great and it's good and it works out the fucking box. I mean, it has its game-breaking glitches, sure, but... Told you, I'm fucking done. It's over here. I gotta go this way. I'm pretty sure. No. Wait, hold on. It's over there. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's over there. Okay, so... From what I'm seeing... There's no real way for me to get there. But I'm gonna go check by looking through one of the other windows to see if there's even a way for me to make that happen to begin with. There is. Interesting. How would I go about doing that? I think I crawl through as Jill. I'm gonna be honest with you. Because it obviously won't let me do it as Carlos. So let's go do that. And then we'll end the episode and save. Save it in the episode. Preferably in that order. But I'm glad I killed it, because now I probably won't have to deal with it as Jill. Carlos Punch! Carlos Kick! Yeah, because there's a thingy right there. And I want that. I'm pretty sure it's a Jill thing. Solidly positive. Thought that was an herb? She's nude. Five bucks said she's a zombie and I got a fucking injector with it even though she's up and running. How much wanna bet? Oh, I guess not. Sweet!
from me a day away. There's still people in the city. Does another Sam give a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit right there. Like this. I would rather you do that. Then I'd rather go to the bottom of it. I would love to. But guess what? I, I have nothing. I have no... I mean, I have three bullets in my pistol. Oh, and first aid spray. Maybe I can throw the can at their faces. Oh, aren't they gonna look so pissed? There's, there's nothing. D define fun. Because this is not something I describe as fun. This is not something I would use to describe fun. They just do that now. Hey, at least they gave me ammunition. I mean, now they did anyway. God, that pressure trigger on these console these controllers is fucking phenomenal. Come on. Oh, come on. Beg your pardon. Fuck me. Even now, it's so dumb. There is never going to be a point in my life where I ever scream in front of a camera. Man, you know what my favorite part about that whole game was? That enemy that could kill me in one fucking blow. It wasn't even the final boss of the game, but it could do it if it so pleased. God, what a dick. Who the fuck puts in an enemy midway through the fucking game and is like, let's make it so that if it wanted to, it could just kill him in one shot. Fucking bright ass I fucking deal with that. And then makes it so that I can't skip cutscenes. Oh my god, this is so actually bad. I can't skip cutscenes. Hunters can kill me in one shot. Those are the two things I've got issue with. Determine fun, dude, because I, I have yet to see a single fucking thing here that is any fun whatsoever. I forgot to grab that fucking first aid before I popped out. I did it, but whatever. I timed it right, but yeah, you know me. God, fuck! It's so annoying! Because it only takes a half a second for them to get on me, and then I, I can't do anything about it. Fucking, it's so stupid! God, fucking 
damn it, it's so fucking stupid! Because now I have nothing with which to use to heal me! At all, in any way, shape, or form! I'm just completely fucking on my own! Oh my god, you're so annoying! You're so annoying! Oh my god! Oh my god, you're really gonna make me do all this! You're really gonna make me do all this, right fucking now, really? You have, you have too much. You have, you have, there's... Okay. What is your fucking malfunction when you're making a fucking game? Why is it no one can ever just sit down and not put too much in the fucking area of the player? Why is that not a thing we can't do? Why is that a thing that you just keep doing, even though very clearly, it's not how you make a good game? I have played three games that have been made in 2020, and each one suffers from an exact same fucking problem that happens far too fucking often. Is that you put too much on the board at any given point to deal for the player to deal with, and they end up fucking dying over and over again, waiting for RNG to take place that gives them a better set of items or enemies to deal with. And then you set me far of all the way back here, all the way back here, no way for me to deal with it at all in any way, shape, or form. I have to grab a certain number of things, a certain selection of things, a certain way, and I have to get a certain number of enemies, and I have to kill a certain number of people, and I have to do a certain number of... It's so fucking stupid. It's completely fucking asinine. It's so absolutely stupid. You've developed one of the worst possible fucking scenarios for a player. It doesn't matter what fucking games it is, it's in. It's absolutely fucking stupid. It's god-awful, and I fucking hate this. I'm so glad I got this on sale. No, I didn't. I actually spent a full 60 for this, and now I'm upset. You don't put checkpoints. You make the player play the whole thing through. Breaching, not breached. Please. And I'm not out, now I'm not at all. I'm completely out of ammo for everything. It seems like that would have happened sooner. That was pretty stupid. Oh my goodness, I've been recording for an hour, that's fine, this is the last, there's, there's a reason.
seems a little deal. <clears throat> you going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're going to do? Coach Reed's about to be my hero. <laughs> what was up? Tell him we found the cure. We stall for time. He did what? Who the hell wakes up from that like, oh, it's a nice sweet morning. Beep, 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 beep. Where did he go? Okay, first off. Oh, okay, that was an insane little episode. Lots of lots of emotions flew all over the place, but yeah, alright. Um we're gonna we're gonna take a quick real second here. Alright, let's let's have some real talk. So, my life has been crazy, and thank you for joining me on this one. So within the last seventy two hours my entire fucking life has changed like three times. Now, um, this is an announcement that will go completely under the radar. Nobody will care at all whatsoever, except for maybe like two or three people. Um, but today marks the day that I found out the gender of my child. I am expecting a baby. Uh, they are to be born in October. That is, that is the, um, expectation date and I am also expecting um I'm actually gonna stop the recording for this um I also just got approved for an apartment I'm moving out on Saturday uh, moving in with my soon-to-be wife who I um um proposed to and was told yes by um her name is Ashley you've seen her in some videos um and she is going to be moving in with me in this new apartment it'll be my own little place uh, we already have it all picked out. We're going to have a crib for the baby, everything. And we're even going to have a little area for YouTube so that we can do it um, with the least amount of noise being created beyond that of what already is on a regular basis. Um, the idea is to actually lessen the amount of noise. Um, and so that being said, this is the last video to ever be recorded in this room ever. Because after I move out, I can't move back in. Uh, my family is not signing the lease again uh, because they they can't get approved. They 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 don't the the rent's going up too high. Um, so they are they are they can't they can't sign the lease. Um, the point is, I personally cannot move back in, and I don't plan to. Um, I'm moving out uh, Saturday. I'm getting everything finalized, um, and I'm going to be moving into my apartment. While that's happening, I actually won't be recording anything. So all these videos are going up as that's happening. This is going out on Saturday. 
This is the last video I recorded for that entire period of time. Um, you'll be getting other videos that'll be going out as well because this is the next batch that goes out because that's how I do them. I do them in batches. Um, but yeah, this is this is the last video being recorded for that set. I'm gonna edit them all tonight. I'm gonna go to work at 6 p.m. tomorrow, and we're gonna yeah. But um, thank you all for joining me on this journey, the one where it took place in this room. Thank you all so much for. I, uh, watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Remember to check out those two videos at the end slate for other stuff I've done. And I will see you guys in the next video.